Monday, guys. Hey, happy Monday. Good morning. A good afternoon. Good afternoon. Actually, yeah. <laughs> well, we got picked up this morning, and we were doing things a little bit different. First, let me tell you about the load. Yeah. Let me tell them about yeah, the load. Yeah, yeah. So we're picking up in Arizona. It's going to Arkansas. The loaded miles are about 1,246 miles. Didn't have any deadhead. We've got four pieces at 856 pounds. Pretty straightforward, easy load. Big Picks heavy up, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Picks up today, we deliver tomorrow. Don't know if we're gonna get something <laughs> over the 4th. The 4th of July is Wednesday, so mm, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough call. We'll be in a good area, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Nothing lined up yet, but. But we're doing something different. We talked about this a couple weeks ago about yeah. swapping our schedules. Yeah. So we're trying that this week. Yeah. So Jason so, started us off, and we are doing our driver swap now. Yeah. So I'm going to get one, started. 1.20 in the afternoon, central time at least. Yeah, central <laughs> <laughs> uh, And uh, we're going to let her drive into the night, and then me go to bed early and try to get up at 1 o'clock and drive us the rest of the way. We'll see how that works. Yeah, worst um, case, if, with the, if it doesn't work out, we can always switch them back to the way they were. Yeah, yeah. But we want to try it, see how it does. And yeah, I see, think it, see if that schedule works better for her and me and, you know, just try it out. Because most of the time I'm sleeping in till 10, 11, which is normally the time when agents are sending out loads and calling and trying to get loads covered. And, you know, when I'm sleeping, sometimes... Like I'm, I may fall asleep on top of my phone, it may fall down in the crack and I might not be able to answer it and we miss out on a load or something. So, well at least this way, maybe I'll be up and I'll be able to get to those calls quicker, you know. We've missed out on one or two loads before yeah. just cause I didn't hear my phone ring and I was out cold. That and don't... I didn't hear it up here. Yeah, so, so that's not good. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna try it out, see yeah. how it goes. We'll let y'all know how it is. Uh... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Let's get going. Let's go. All guys well that sounds weird to say <laughs> I'm used to saying good morning oh, it's 6 30 5 30 local time I'm east of El Paso now got into a little bit of traffic not too bad mainly just where the construction zone is and one of the lanes was blocked off by a cop having somebody pulled over but it wasn't too bad right now we have 876 miles to go on this trip it's gonna be interesting to see how uh, switching our shifts up like this goes I'm excited for it I think it's probably gonna be better for both of us I have high hopes for it right now we'll see I don't know this is just the first day of trying it so <laughs> let, let us get in a few days and see what we think but 
yeah guys I'm just gonna finish up here I just finished letting the babies out and feeding them there is some cloud cover it did sprinkle a little bit so we might get into a little bit of rain but I think the cloud cover is mostly just right here there is some up ahead going east so we'll see I don't know I haven't looked at the weather that's all right a little bit of rain will cool it off because it is hot I did stop at uh, Petro in Deming New Mexico to top off our tanks and the one thing I love about that Petro is they have a Starbucks so I got Starbucks <laughs> we don't get Starbucks too often anymore we used to get it all the time but it's not the best for you but it's nice to have every once in a while and even better when they have it at the truck stop makes it very convenient although I do feel we got slighted because they were out of whipped cream I'm like how can you be out of whipped cream that's like the best part of the drink so didn't get whipped cream but it was still good we usually get the um, Java chip frappuccinos and get it double blended it's really good if you don't get it double blended those chocolate chips they get stuck in the straw so double blending it usually helps with that anyway I'm rambling I will probably see you guys in the morning tomorrow sometime I don't know we'll see but let's get going this long drive through Texas Good morning. We are still in Texas. <laughs> Takes forever to get through here. Heather is still sleeping. Um, pulled over at a rest area doing my 30 minute break. Now this is weird being up this early. I'm sure we'll get used to the driving schedule. It's just going to take some getting used to, but she's still back there sleeping. So trying to keep it a little bit quiet. We got 175 miles to go. It is 7.30 in the morning, still early. We'll probably get there right at about 11, 11.30, get dropped off, and, and we'll see what happens. I'll probably make a couple calls here once I get back on the road, um, let some people get into the office and see if we can't find anything out of this area because it is Tuesday and tomorrow is the 4th, so um, I don't know. We may be sitting uh, over the 4th. I don't know. Fingers crossed. We'll see what we get, though. But. I'm going to get back on the road and we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit after Heather gets up. Bye. Well, What's up, everybody? Howdy, 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 howdy. <laughs> well, we got delivered. Got delivered yesterday. yesterday. Went and found a parking spot and I crashed out. Jason crashed. I was it, out. What would you think about that one in the morning to one in the afternoon? That's that's a tough drive. <laughs> Especially like when, when you... Uh, trying to get sleep during the day and the, it, it was hot that that was my biggest issue i had to set up the fan and <laughs> i'm gonna do a video uh tips how to keep it cool back there because that little air conditioner i think it struggles to cool this big sleeper well, and i know we've had people email us about it yeah what do we do and like what kind of sucks about it is so, you know, we got the rooftop AC, but we can only run that when we're sitting, when we have the generator on or short power. So th right. that doesn't run going down the road. Right. So we only have the HVAC system that runs off when the truck is running. Their vents are only on one side of the sleeper. Yeah. There's and three vents. There's one up top, one at the bunk, or one kind of in the middle, and then one low. And it's just... I don't think they're positioned good, I don't too. think so, either. And when you're going in 100-plus degree weather, yeah. it just doesn't cool it good yeah it needs help yeah um, but i got a couple tips that i'm gonna share with you guys in the future probably coming up uh probably next vlog i'll you'll do that since we are heading home yeah uh, it's actually the fourth of july today of course yeah. when you're seeing this a uh, fourth of july has already passed but i hope everybody had a happy fourth yeah there's a few things we need to get looked at on the truck yeah we're gonna go go to waco freightliner and have them look at it so if they keep it for a couple of days, at least we're at home, you know? Yeah, we so. haven't had any calls. Oh, did you already say that? I don't know. Yeah, no, <laughs> no calls, no calls yesterday. Well, we have one call. Yeah. We have one call. This is this is the craziest thing I've ever heard since being with Landstar. <laughs> uh, we got a call 
for us to deadhead to Shreveport to pick one up. Like going 180 to, miles away. Yeah, 180 mile deadhead, and it was only going to Oklahoma, and it didn't pick up till Monday. Yeah, for today's, like a week. Today's Wednesday. I'm like. But yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday so. was Tuesday, so yeah. it was like you want me to sit six days deadhead, <laughs> 180 miles for a 250 mile run. Nah, I think not. <laughs> I think not. Yeah, that's that's a little bit outside of my what I like to do in expediting. Yeah. But that was the only call we got. We hadn't seen nothing coming across the Qualcomm, no loads, nothing. So I don't want to sit here and run the generator until Thursday, Friday, waiting for our next load. I'd rather go home, get the truck looked at. It's minor stuff, you know. But, but stuff that needs to get looked at. Yeah. And we know the Freightliner in Waco, we know they do good work, yeah, so yeah. instead of trying to find a Freightliner here in BFE, Arkansas, we'll just go there. Yeah, so then, because yeah. we all know Freightliners, they take a couple days to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, so but we're like almost, what, 370? Yeah, 370 miles away. Not bad. So. Yeah, and we'll probably get something out of there. I mean, this week's the bus already anyway, probably. So yeah, might yeah. as well get that stuff taken care of because in less than well, I had a little over two weeks. We got the expo. We got a we're going yep. to. Yeah. So yeah, that's in Lexington. Yeah. That's so. Yeah. Well, let's get going. All right. Well, we'll end this one here, guys. We'll pick up the next one in Waco and let y'all know what's going on with the truck and all the info on that. Get yep. you caught up. Yeah. Hope you guys had a great 4th of July and everybody was safe and... Yep. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.